Hi, wonderfuls, my kifters, my kifatons. Um, I. This is the last day that the campsite is open. Um, well, last night was the last time we could stay. So I am going to Love Jam. Um, as a resident, we get like a ticket, which is really cool. So I'm just on my way there now. I don't know what to expect, but it's very on brand for me. Very holistic, very unity, love, all those high frequencies. Okay, so this is Eridge Old Green Park. Okay, I thought the festival was going to be here, uh, but it's not. Look there. It's like all the way down there, I think. And do you know what that means with for me? I have no idea how to walk there. It's like crazy hot, midday. Luckily, I've got two liters of water. How am I, how am I supposed to get there? I thought I could walk, which I can, but how do you get there? So, hmm, I might have to cut across a field somewhere. I feel like I don't get it. How am I in the situation? This is what happens with me, yeah? I never check before I travel because I'm like, yeah, yeah, whatever. <sighs> Luckily, I got an umbrella. Luckily. Luckily, I'm that smart. What is Play Club? Uh, Play Club is a clothing brand that is a re um, it's encouraging the conversation around vulnerability. So the idea is that all the clothing is uh, conversation starters. So when someone says, I like your shirt, uh, you say it's from Play Club. It's all about deeper human connection and, and vulnerability. And then your conversations get deeper more quickly is the idea. 
Brilliant. Um, and we do, uh, and the profits from the brand pay for emotionally expressive experiences. Uh, one of which is this tree, which is the anxiety amnesty tree. Uh, and so the, here, the idea is people have written such, such beautiful things and, uh, and vulnerable things on the tree, and they let it go out into the universe to release it. That's the thing. And also, I did a, a rage workshop uh, this morning. Uh, and yeah, it, people were expressing a lot of anger and rage and that kind of thing. So the brand is that's what it pays for. Where can people find you? Uh, PlightClub.co.uk uh, and on Insta it's PlightClubHQ. Brilliant. Thank you so much. festival how I'm feeling I'm feeling like I'm floating on a cloud because I just literally went into like a meditation with this elixir the saffron elixir with this beautiful man George um, and I just feel so good but I really wanted to buy this elixir but brew like my financial state at the moment is to be continued until this van situation is going on but oh my goodness what a kiff guy and what a great festival i feel like i've connected to a lot of people um <laughs> i feel like love jams totally got me it's definitely the people there was like a um i didn't I, I couldn't find this one healing place which i actually walked past which i should have gone to so yeah such a beautiful location okay so i just actually oh my goodness this chick so i went to like a sound bath in this tent that's playing music over there you then become aware of a pool of gold and light residing right in the center of the earth this is the divine light of our mother but um actually this guy's got a great idea by sitting down the thing is, I need to go back to the campsite because I need to clean. But this is such a great view. Like, look at it. What the hell? Oh, this estate is everything. Check. She was doing her sound healing there. And, like, her voice is unreal. It just penetrated through my body in a frequency that I don't know. But that one of the notes. She's got a freaking healing powerful note. And I love it. Look, I'm basically about the opposite. I was there earlier. That's so cool. Yeah, it's a magical place. And I met a lady that picked out. She's like, oh, I've got a velvet dress just for you. Bruce, she picks out this dress. This dress fits me perfectly. She's going to post it to me because I can't afford it right now. I'm going to send her the money next week. Like this other guy as well. He's like, I'll just, you could take the Alexa. And you could just transfer the money like when you get paid. I was like, bro, how trusting are you? But I'm like, nah, I know me. Like, that's a bit too much of my pocket. Um, because I've still got contract signing. But I will I will buy it for sure. Because that I've never had a... It's like a saffron elixir that he's obviously completely intentionally done. But you only need a little bit to go into meditation. We went into meditation together. It was freaking awesome. I just felt so like... It's his energy as well. I can meditate around him all day. <laughs> But yeah, so I met this chick that with the velvet dress. She's um, she's living in New Newport. How funny! We were like, I'm like, oh, do you know human design? I'm like, I'm a manifesto generator. What are you? And she's like, yeah, she's a um, she's a manifesto generator. So we were both like, I don't know, this weird like cool thing happened, and then intuition. <laughs> She's talking, we're talking about intuition and her intuition, she was like, she just picks this dress and she gets this dress 
and she's like you see my gut told me to get it i was like oh my goodness and it just fits me perfectly so yeah it's <laughs> uh, i don't know i've had the best day ever actually um, at first i was kind of like feeling very irritated just because i was obviously the moon in cancer i suppose but then there's this beautiful leo love energy and that's what love jam is it literally is love everybody's so beautiful and i connected to just started talking to random people it's beautiful i had some a pineapple um ginger celery juice then i had a cacao a proper cacao which i set intention with then i went some cool dancing vibes went to go speak to this taurus beautiful mum. i think it's louise and she's just beautiful so we're speaking to her for a little bit talking about like astrology and then where that lady went to go eat some food and now i'm back to the campsite unfortunately unfortunately i just missed a sound bath as well which sucks but it's fine what you always take away something from a festival because i've always found with festivals it brings out like gifts to me festival is a very like a self realization opportunity if you you, you you learn a lot about yourself at a festival because you realize who you attract and the people you are, are, are with i have really been wanting to like produce my own like just step back into yoga production just all this spiritual kiffness especially for kiff cap out retreats that i want to host there i want to harness and like building the van with the music studio that's kind of been like on my mind 24 7 and then being able to play that around different festivals and things like this and the fact that i've seen this guy was djing and playing with drummers and it's like i had that in london in clapham common and also um i want to do that at like bigger festivals you know and then having like sound healing and this chick that i she's like oh i'm open for collaboration it's like oh yes your voice is insane i would love to collaborate with you so it's been able to that's what i'm taking away is stepping into that and setting that intention and moving forward to develop it and work through it and just i need to, i want to travel and connect more with people and it's just awesome so if anybody so if you're curious about love jam it's very very cool um you've got to be open to receive though because it's a whole nother world for sure <laughs> um luckily i'm i'm used to i'm used to very organic lives because of my festival background but it's a whole nother level of experience look at in this beautiful place oh it's such an honor for me to be here such an honor if you like this video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe and i'll try to link all the people in the video description most likely to write a blog post about it misskiff.co enjoy okay so this is the meadow um i just wanted to show you for camp um kiff camp out retreat so the idea is this is the sacred space that we're going to hold it in and there's like a really good walk down there composting toilets is up there um but i feel like coming at the bottom of this field would be great or we can have the corner field um but it's an incredible space super healing like i've just been to love jam festival here and like on the estate because this estate is like huge and it's just so beautiful um the energy here is so grounding because of the trees it's literally been such a magical summer and i'm almost like gutted to be leaving but i'll be back next year which is great